Hello. Just on a bit there now. To start the loading. Um, we had a couple of pallets here and then down to uh, a couple of pallets here and then down to um, care for the morning. Load there. Um, shouldn't be too long here, I'd say I'm in Clonus there now. And usually it's just a couple of pallets. Nothing much. So get that loaded up. Um, start well. Today is Monday. It is no quarter past five in the afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it. Um, started around. Put my card in at twenty past two, and fueled up. Um, Pulled into the garage. Unfortunately, they cut back my lorry um, back to 85k. Some notion they're after getting. Um, that was actually probably one of the last lorries um, to get done because they haven't been back in the yard. But what can we do there? insisting on doing it so that's it back to 85k um and i got two drop links fitted there was a knock from underneath and i asked them to have a quick look and they said the drop links were loose so um they're changed so that's sorted and that's about it. Talk to you later. Hello. I'm on the bay again today. Uh, in care there now. Was waiting about an hour and a half or just over it. Um, well, I knew they wouldn't start me till half ten, eleven o'clock at the earliest anyway. But I came in around half nine. And um, just got on a bay there now. It is half eleven, so they better be fast because I have to make it to Dublin for a boat. But uh, if I don't, it's their own problem because it will be day, um, as planner said, does they want to um, get the boat, the only direct option they have today is uh, the direct out of Dublin at four o'clock. So if I don't make that, I will have to transit and that will cost at least an extra day with the queues in Dover and they want these deliveries to get there by before the Easter break before they close for Easter so have to get them delivered Friday evening so um up to them to sort it. Uh, it feels like they're loading away fast enough so hopefully it should be okay and apparently I have only uh, three drops which is handy enough the first one in Milan second one by Verona and then down towards Ancona So, that'll do. Talk to you later. Right, loaded up and moving. Let's go, go, go. It's, uh, well, as much go, go, go as I can at 85 kilometers per hour. But, um, 
Hello to the the lad in uh, ABP Care who asked to be get a shout out, but he didn't mention his name. But I was told to make sure and mention him. Hello to you. Right, uh, I've bought to catch. Two hours and 45 minutes away. So all loaded up, uh, three drops for Italy. On, oops. Three drops for Italy on Friday. Today is Tuesday. told they didn't need to. Why? I don't know. I can weigh out, yeah. Pardon? I can I can go back and weigh out. I, I, I was just told I... It, 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 it just really yeah, yeah. Up. No bother. Yeah. The blue ladder? The blue truck or is there a car behind me? No, you can see the truck behind you. Yeah, yeah. Right, so apparently I have to weigh out. Um, obviously not for paperwork, but yes, for security. So I'll do what I'm told. Thank you. Um, right, so winter is um, park loads like that. They, they have the paperwork sorted, so they don't need. They already have the weights of the product, but obviously security still need you to weigh in and weigh out. Learn something new every day. So, flat for the boat as I said. Um, I should be alright now. Um, boat's not till 4 and I should be in there before three, so should be all good. In 900 meters, turn left onto Mitchellstown Road. So 
So I will go turn left on Mitchellstone Road and talk to you later. Houston, we have a problem. Now what the deal is with this queue? Never seen seen it queuing here before. Or they're doing something with the roadworks or something maybe. So it's straight on. It doesn't seem that busy with freight. I'd say a lot of passengers are right, I'd say. Let's see where he wants me to go. John happy. John will be crying if we get infringements. So, uh, took the break and off I go again. Uh, just here at Morn Villiers. The services just before Paris. In three and a half kilometers, keep left to A13. Okay, thank you. Right, uh, did I say it was Italy I was heading for? Um, do another four to four and a half hours now. And should leave me about eight hours to go in the morning. Um, I'm undecided whether I will park in the services or go as far as the my first drop and park outside it. Um, there is parking there. I must ring the one one of the lads to see if it is um, to safe to park there. So 
that is the plan. And then the tree drops on Friday. I'm unsure actually. Two kilometers, keep left on A13, then keep right. I'm unsure actually whether I um, think as it's Easter weekend and that I could end up getting weekended in Italy. I, I, there's a good chance I won't get any load till Tuesday, but I'll just have to wait and see. That is, I don't know, can you see it in the camera? I can see the awful tower from here. Standing proud above Paris. Keep left on A13, then keep right. Right, so that's it. On I go. Talk to you later. Hello. Uh, checks are done. Just the steering wheel. And time to go. As far as here last night, um, which gives me seven hours forty six to go today. So, handy enough. People say the 85 kilometers wouldn't make that much of a difference, and in some ways they're right. But right, say it does only five minutes or so. If I had an extra five minutes, I could have made it to the next services which is another 30k and that's Continue where the difference kicks in so I'd have been it doesn't really matter to, on this trip but I'd have been an extra 30k down the road for the sake of five minutes But that's the way it goes. Um, and I go. Bit of a foggy morning. It's a nice building up to the left if you can see it. Don't know what it is. And the dev gets in the way. No worry about the speed camera flashing me today. checking up last night and from what I can see the driving van kicks in 
at two o'clock tomorrow. Bank goes till two o'clock on Tuesday. So I don't know what the plan is, but I could end up being parked for a long weekend. Which doesn't bother me, but um, I don't think there's too many after I deliver. There's not too many, there's not any great spots to park up. Um, so got plenty of services and stuff like that which will be fine but nowhere to go to them or you know no place to go see or no proper um you know there'll be filling station services and that so no proper restaurant or anything so I don't know Um, I'll have to make a few inquiries. Then they could have got loads that I can move with, so I don't know. I'll have to wait and see what they say. Hello, it's a glorious day, um, 30 degrees here, just stopped in traffic on the way up the Mont Blanc, um, don't know what the hold up is, but just have to sit and wait. with tourists etc or what I don't know are they doing roadworks or something um, I have never actually experienced proper proper tourist traffic because um, I started in October doing this work and the following spring was the start of COVID. So between restrictions and all of that with the last two years, I've never actually experienced proper tourist traffic. So maybe this is it. Um, the ferry the other night was delayed by over an hour because of tourist traffic so maybe this is similar so I'll just have to see how I get on still climbing up here I've lost over an hour um, Just on the, by the monument here, um, the last turn before we get to the top. And obviously they're trying to let the cars through. I 
I'd say it's just general traffic as to hold up, but I don't know. Stop a couple of them there, John. John, let me on. Merci, monsieur. This is the monument for those that died in the fire. Twenty fourth of March of March nineteen ninety nine, twenty-nine persons perished. I would be guessing that that is all uh, tourist traffic causing mayhem.
right, uh, that is drop number two done. Um, a bit of a job finding this place. The address I was given by the office was the incorrect address. And I had a bit of cross country to do to get to this one, which um, would have been a lot handier, I'd say, to get to if I had come to it first. Uh, on this way, I think. Um, if I'd come direct to this one first. But what of it? Um, I couldn't film it because I was using my phone for Google Maps. Um, I must get out to the office actually, I keep forgetting to say it to the IT man, but the uh, Google Maps doesn't work on the work phone, which would make life a lot handier. Uh, but no, where am I going? At the roundabout, take the first exit. Oh, yeah. I can go around the county here. That's okay. I, I knew I needed to get out onto that um, road to my right, but I wasn't sure whether there was a roundabout down here or not. But apparently there is. So, um, yeah, that cost me a bit of time, but should still be okay. Um, just need to At take the a roundabout, half. take the first exit to Strada Start Halle Transpolitan Just need to take a half hour break on the way, but um, I won't take it yet so that I can right I'll have to go the whole way around this one um, I won't take the half hour break yet because I have 4 hours 50 minutes to my destination so if I take it now, I'll have to take another 45. Take exit to Strata Start Halle Transpolis on R, then exit right. Take the exit on the right toward Rovigo. So, um, I'll go another about 40 minutes or so. And then I will be able to make it to the last drop in one shot. Which will make life handier. Continue on Strada Start Halle Transpolis on R. It is now 10 to 11 Irish and it's showing 22 degrees there now so um, I'm looking forward to a nice weekend on the beach. roads or um, and you're 
kind of constantly wondering, am I going the right way? Or it can't be down here. And next thing, all of a sudden, there'd be a massive industrial area in the middle of nowhere. Or you could be inside in a very narrow residential area and big industrial area in the middle of it. And like, no, no proper route into it or anything. Like there's one, that, well, I haven't been in a while now, but um, one of the drops I used to when I first started to come out here, um, it was through a narrow little village and down through a um, weight restriction and everything. And it was actually a big, a, not a huge factory or anything, but a, a decent size of a factory inside in the middle of a tiny little village and no access into it. But that seems to be the way the Italians work. Like even the first time I came up to this drop, going way up the mountain like this, I was wondering was I gone wrong. And there, I, I won't video the whole lot of it videoed before, but there are at least four or five different um, big factories inside in this industrial zone out in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, the, oh, um, the next problem is I'll have to check when I get up here. Um, I'll have to take a 45 minute break anyway. But um, I'm going to be fairly tight on time to get to the, um, the place I picked for parking up for the weekend. It is Friday evening, Good Friday, and I will be parking till Tuesday morning. So I want to get somewhere. Meters. Turn right onto Strada Provincial I want to get somewhere decent and um, this place I planned on, I was told it was um, good and it is about 10 minutes walk from the beach and whatever so um, there's not much around here, a lot of the services are small and that and you know you can't go anywhere out of them, out of them. but um, at least this spot I'd be able to walk down to the beach and stuff like that so um, I want to get to, well I will get to there hopefully tonight. Um, I'll have to double check Turn when I get right up here. Onto Strada, but um, hopefully I'll have enough in my 10 hours to get there. If I do a 10 hour drive today, which I can do. In two and a half kilometers, enter the roundabout. If not, I can just park up somewhere en route and I can go in the morning. I'm I'm technically running through through the pen at the moment, but uh, I have um, fresh beef, so I should be okay. But um, and then surely let me go to find the parking. But uh, the pen is not overnight. It. Uh, I think it's from 2 o'clock till 10 o'clock today and then starts again at uh, 9 in the morning so um, 
if I have to, I can park here somewhere and start at say 7 in the morning and run up to the place I want to go to. But I would rather get there tonight. So, um, I'll see when I get up to my destination and do a few calculations and I will talk to you later. And if I had lined up for ramp 6, he would have said ramp 5. Step done. Time to take my break. Right, uh, nicely done. Um, my sat nav said I had an hour and fifty five minutes driving to get here. I only had an hour and 48 available I have done it uh, with two minutes to spare nine hours 58 driving today so uh, just do some paperwork here now and pull my card B restaurant is just ahead of me there and the beach is apparently a 10 minute walk it's friday night i'm here till tuesday so that'll do nicely three days on the beach thank you bye bye